What up, world? It's FKI. One half first. It's the other half rich. And you know we rocking hip hop since 1987.com, bro. And this is Behind the Beats. Rick Thames with HipHop1987.com, rocking out with FKI. Uh, for the people that don't know, can you tell them about where you guys are from? From Atlanta. I'm from, from Atlanta too. Atlanta, bro, north side. We're on the east side right now, shout out to all the sides. We're from Atlanta, man. All the sides. One through six. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? So how, how did you go? <laughs> One, two, three. Back home. How did you guys meet each other and then how did you guys actually get started in the game? We met in high school actually. Like the first time we met, it was in an argument over fucking Jay Z and that shit. Back in the day. It's some old shit. But yeah, um Then we lived in the same neighborhood. Same bus. Then we get ended up getting the same bus and shit and then we just found out we both made beats and rap. So we just started making music and really long now. Yeah. So we <laughs> speed it up. We uh we met up with Travis Porter. Uh we, we were engineering for them recording and shit. And then one day we just made a beat and it was making rain. And then what that, a couple hours later we made fucking bring it back. And that's when it all fucking started from there. Two hits and then it started going crazy all through Atlanta and everything. Everybody hopped on the remix from Ross, Juicy J. Gucci, everybody hopped on it. And then, uh, that's really the start. Yeah. Yeah, that was it. Child to Currently, I know you guys told me off camera that you guys are working with YG right now. Um, what are you guys working on with him? And who else are you currently working on? Any projects you can tell us about? Um, right now, yeah, we're working with YG. Shout out to YG and DJ Mustard. Uh, they're down in Atlanta. We're working on YG's album. Just doing a lot of collabing with Mustard and bringing in our own tracks and just helping out with that. I'm um, working on Iggy Azalea's. We just did. We just did her first single, Work. Uh, who else? Uh, Jeremiah and Wayne. Fuck you all the time. And we're gonna. We, we're working on more stuff with Jeremiah too. It's pretty dope. Um, she uh, working on an uh, Natasha Mosley project. Yeah, too. That's gonna be crazy. We doing all that and shit, our shit. Yeah, and them. Yeah, we're on this and them shit right now, man. <laughs> and them is a crazy thing, man. You'll see more about it coming soon, about May twentieth. But we're just we're just working with everybody. Tiger too. We just did two on Tiger's album, Moe, and it was pretty dope. Making making dope with Ross too, and yeah. Tiger. But those are the, the most recent things we've been doing. We've been up to. So you, you guys said you're working on your own project right now. Yeah. Um, what can you tell us about it? Like, what are you guys gonna be doing on the project? Is it just gonna be production, like compilation, or are you actually doing there as artists as well? Um, really, we we've been working on we work a lot on our music. We we, we make our kind of shit. We've been collaborating with a lot of EDM artists like Flosh Diamonds, DJ Slink, Diplo. Just been doing a lot of production with them. Guys in Atlanta like Mayhem and Heroes and Villains. Woo. And we just actually got off a tour with uh, DJ Slink, the Certified Trap Tour with Loud Pack yeah. too. It was pretty crazy. So our music is really something to turn up to. It's just we really just talk about our bad habits. Yeah, we got a lot of we got a lot of bad habits. They're good to us, but other people come bad to us. us. So when you guys get into the studio, what do you like to make your your music with? Like? Uh, all this shit in here. <laughs> you know, this shit costs a lot of money now. <laughs> nah, we use we on, we on Logic. We use little. We're getting into Ableton too. A lot of um, a lot of our producer friends told us to start using Ableton. We use Logic and um, the BSTs. We use Omnisphere, Salent, and Nexus too. It's so amazing. <laughs> it's so amazing. Uh, yeah. I don't even have it yet. Real, like, like, you I just know, know you, like, you just know that shit is real. Yeah, like, shit. 
Yeah. But that's what mostly we use in production. And then like, and on the <laughs> it's turned around, man. All of this. Should we do that over? That's straight. No, 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 that man. niggas want that real shit. We yeah, sitting yeah. in it. At, at, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get the Zuli jacket. We in here. This is what we be at for real. <laughs> you want to know what all of we do that shit? This is right here. It transform helmets up there for real. That's no joke. <laughs> the sounds you hear come out this room, so this ain't no the, joke. This is the fucking campground, bro. This is like where we turn up. We do everything in here. And on our, actually on our project and them. We show you what we do. We here. show you what we do. Like, we're in the studio 24 hours a day. We do not leave, ever. I know it sounds crazy, but we don't leave. If, it's, if we got a party, we need to work, <laughs> anything, it happens all in the studio. And the studio turns into Am Dam when you do yeah. a couple of things, a couple of bad habits, and then it just turns up. What's the craziest story you could tell us about some recording with anybody in a studio or coming up on the track? About to go up away with <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, One of the dopest people I've, we've been in the studios with, I would say, was Walker. Cause he be so turned, and I, everybody know he be turned like when he be on stage and shit. But even when he in the booth, bro, you know who else though? Dro, crazy. Yeah. Dro for real. Watching him record is like real. That nigga's like, <laughs> he's real in the booth, bro. Like that shit. Yeah, real. he like Dro always been influenced us like on music and shit. Even like just just everything. Like we always looked up to him. We got we got to work with him now. That's something else that's out now. Oh, yeah. FDB. FDB. Yeah. But um, but yeah, Dro is another person that's pretty dope to work with. Travis Porter too. It's been a lot of times where we turn the studio to damn near strip clubs. <laughs> like that shit is real. Like Travis, they really about that strip club. Like they always been, but the studio been extra turned for Travis. Travis you know, going crazy. Sound like y'all work with a lot of. I mean, like y'all living the dream. Really, as producers, you work with a lot of hit makers. And Sure, the juices be flowing. Y'all got in the studio together. Is there anybody you haven't had a chance to work with yet that you want to work with? Um, I think I, mean, I think like, I think we'll make some dope stuff with uh, with Drake. I think we'll make some really dope stuff with Drake. Who else? I don't know. It depends on what you're talking about. You're talking about like producers and shit too. Well, either producers. Um, or I feel like we'll make dope shit with Pharrell. Yeah. I mean, who are, have we oh, not shit. worked with? I'm just, I'm thinking about, you know what I mean? <laughs> Kendrick, uh, no, you know? No. Oh, yeah. But when we want to fuck with a lot more, a lot of more uh, EDM producers, too, like, because they're, they're, like, brains are always, like, on oh, some other shit, bruh. <laughs> That's why, and, like, we, we always, we're always on some other shit, too, so it's, like, when we collab, it's always dope. Of course, like Skrillex would be dope. Really, yeah, Flux, yeah. Pa Flux Pavilion is another the one. The dopest. Flux Pavilion made one of the, if y'all know who that is, he's the guy who originally made I Can't Stop. But his music is yeah, incredible. Was hard. I would love to collab with him too. But, um, everybody, man. Everybody. Yeah. We, just, we just love working, yeah, bro. Just love. making music. It's all about music, does. If we in the middle of making something, you pull up and sit in here and say a fucking hook, it's probably going to be your song. Like type shit, like if you a dope artist. Yeah, like we really, we really fuck with everybody, bro. It does not, it does not matter who you are. If you got a dope hook or something, <laughs> dope track, you want to collab and work, let's do it. It's all about the music, bro. It's gotta go crazy. For artists, for uh, producers that are watching this right now, what advice could you give an aspiring producer that's watching this that looks up to y'all, wants to be like y'all? Not to sound cliche, but it's so true. You just gotta just get. Chill. Find 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 your groove. Find where you comfortable at, and make sure that make sure that's what you do first. Make sure you're good. Like, make sure you good. Don't 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 rush to be playing your beats for people. But don't be thirsty. Don't that's be how you thirsty. Sum that up. Yeah, just never be thirsty. They're gonna ask you one day on when you least expect it, or it's just gonna happen how it happened to us. It's just that shit happens. But don't be like yo, I got these beats. Cause they probably don't want to hear it. Don't be thirsty. Right there. It's a thousand other producers like everywhere. So you just gotta keep working. Once you once you find that groove where you're just working, don't stop. And it has to work <laughs> after a fucking while, bro. I mean, it's quicker for other people. It's longer for other people. But 
once you just get in that groove dance to keep working. Don't change up, keep your sound, be original, stop biting other people, other people's sounds, like at least try to be original a little bit. Like, it's okay. <laughs> No, nah, but for real, it's, cause know, it's, it's making it hard for all producers because there's so many producers that's biting. Like, if you take one thing from the top five producers, you can make a beat. Yeah, like, so anybody can make a beat <laughs> these days. So it's like they don't even care about. Say, say, I, say, fuck you all the time. We produce fuck you all the time. Say this. Say a thousand other niggas make fuck you all the time because they biting or whatever. The people who they want, they don't got to come to us anymore, even though we created that song, they're just gonna go to this other random kid that's biting. That shit is weak, bro. Niggas gotta be original, man. You gotta just just put your brain in it a little bit. Just don't have one signature. But yeah, we don't even have a we don't even have a tag in the beach, man. We don't even, it's, it's about the music, bro. We don't even just, we just like the music, bro. Just make the song good. Yeah, that's it. Before we wrap it up, man, is there anything else you want to tell uh, your fans or any people that are watching this? Shit. Look out for our shit with May 20th, I think. Yeah. Just keep looking for us. We fucking fire. Dope. Dread. Just me and my nigga on fire right now. Nah, you gotta let them know sometimes. Like, we on fire. Other people on fire too. I'm not saying we the firous niggas out here. And yeah, I said firous. <laughs> we the firous niggas out here, but we fire too. What you gotta tell them? Shout out to God. You know what I mean? He's real. <laughs> but nah, man, we got Transformers in the Hood, Amdam coming out May 20th. And so many collabs coming out with other producers. Maybe this. This project with Flosha Diamonds, called Zuli Diamonds, is in the works. I don't know what's gonna happen. We just go back and forth making tracks. If y'all don't know who Flosha Diamonds is, check that out. You probably losing right now, real hard. But um, just be looking out. Just be on the lookout for FKI. Check out our Twitter, FKI Music. Everything's Everything. FKI Music. And yes, FKI, first and rich. My nigga. <laughs> Shout out my hip hop since 1987, niggas. Hip hop since 1987.com.